Good morning, guys. Today is International Cake Decorating Day, and although I might not be so good at baking a cake or decorating it, I am very good at tasting. So I can't wait to get my hands on a delicious creation of Sasko's 2013 chocolate cake champion, Shakira Jakob. Shakira, firstly, congratulations on winning. Thank you very much. So what kind of chocolate cake do you make? I'm making a chocolate mousse cake. Oh, that sounds yummy. Shall we get started? Now the ingredients that you'll need are one cup of Sasko cake flour, one cup of sugar, um, a quarter cup of cocoa, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, um, a teaspoon of vanilla essence, um, a half a cup of oil, uh, four eggs separated, and a half a cup of boiling water. Great, so what's the first step? The first step is to mix all the dry ingredients uh, together in a bowl. Then add the four egg yolks, oil, water, vanilla essence, and gently beat the mixture. Be sure to use a big enough bowl. Kira, what gave your cake the edge above the other contestants? I think I've just been making this cake for a very long time, for years with my mother, and it's always been a hit to friends and family and all the functions that I've taken it to. Okay, so now that the cake mix is done, can I taste? Yes, please do. <laughs> this is a great way to ensure that the cake is all mine. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's delicious. It is so yummy. Next, whisk the egg whites until stiff. You'll get more volume if you use eggs that are room temperature. So what happens if you don't smooth it out completely? There'll be little lumps of egg white left after the cake is baked and you'll actually see these little white bumps inside of the cake. Yeah. What do you think is the main reason why cakes flop? I would say if your ingredients aren't measured out properly, maybe too much baking powder or too little baking powder. I tell most people when I give them this recipe that it's flop proof. <laughs> To get the ingredient list for this delicious recipe, SMS the keyword SASCO to double three seven two eight. Divide the batter into greased cake tins and bake at 180 degrees. It should be ready after about 30 minutes. Take it out of the oven and allow to cool. So this is the mousse that I've prepared yesterday. I always prepare it a day before so that it chills um, overnight and then it whoops much better. What kind of chocolate do you use for the mousse? I use milk chocolate, dark chocolate and fresh cream. So now I'm going to sandwich the layers with the mousse. Generously spread the chocolate mousse on every layer of the cake and then sandwich all the layers together. Pour the thickened ganache over the cake, decorate it with fondant roses and chocolate shards using the ganache to stick it onto the cake. Shakira, what are your top tips for decorating a cake like this? Um, I would say you have a lot of time. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> yeah, and um, it's just passion. This cake will make anyone fall in love with you. Combine Sasko flour, cocoa, baking powder, salt and sugar. Then add egg yolks, oil, water and vanilla essence. Mix melted chocolate and cream for the mousse and cover the cakes with the mixture and sandwich them together. Pour the ganache over the top and decorate with fondant roses and chocolate shards. Decadent and delicious. Another delicious recipe brought to you by Sasko flour. Always soft and fluffy.